Malcolm, I want you to listen really carefully to the next few minutes because I think it's a very important story that, of course, hasn't really been covered properly by our legacy media who are looking the other way. I'm going to begin this little rant by reading the oath of allegiance that every MP in our parliament has to swear before they can sit in, talk or vote in our parliament. I, insert name, swear that I will bear faithful and true allegiance, sorry, that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, his heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. Or you can do an affirmation, a non-religious affirmation. That's the oath of allegiance that is made by everyone before they can sit in or vote in our parliament. It was an oath that some members of the Māori Party kicked up Bobsy die about, but they all in the end complied, and they have to sign that oath. It becomes a legally binding contract. And if you want to sit in and vote and be in the House of Representatives, you have to say, I am here to serve. And I'm here to serve this institution, and I guess this nation and the ideals of this nation. Yesterday, an amazing thing happened. A party that holds several seats, albeit seats that are defined by ethnicity, declared political independence and that it would be setting up a new parliament, a separate parliament. Um, I find that remarkable. I'll just read, well, the Woke News Hub coverage. The Māori Party has issued a declaration of political independence. Tinaku au te iwi, Māori, beginning the process to establish its own Māori Parliament. The announcement was made as thousands of people have crossed the country joined a hikoi for National Māori Action Day to coincide with budget announcements. Enough is enough, to party Māori said in a statement. No longer can we allow this very house to dictate our rangatiratanga, a spokesperson said. Earlier this week, Te Pata Māori co-leader Rāwiri Waititi called the coalition a Pākehā government. The party says its own parliament will be anchored in tikanga and kawa, focused entirely on mokapuna livelihood, that's children, established as part of transforming Aotearoa into a nation which respects the tino rangatiratanga of tangata whenua and creates a safe home for all people. So a new and separate parliament. Sedition laws in this country were taken off the books in 2007 by the Labour government. But I simply cannot see how the oath of allegiance that was sworn by Māori Party MPs is being honoured by their movement to establish a separate parliament, a separate government in New Zealand. And I believe they are in breach. And I'm really interested in your views as citizens of New Zealand, law-abiding citizens of New Zealand. I believe they are in, in breach of their contracted oath to our parliament, to our government and... Yes, we're still a constitutional monarchy. Oh, sorry, we're still, a, you know, rule. we have a sovereign. We're a Westminster democracy. The Māori Party have said we're not interested in that anymore. We're going to go our own way. Look, I don't decry anyone who decided to protest yesterday and wave a flag, no matter how misguided and silly and brainwashed I think they might be. They got a right in this wonderful, tolerant democracy that we've built multiracial democracy that we've built in New Zealand. But I say to the Māori Party and any MP who wants to go their own way, you're in breach of your oath. And once you've breached the oath, you can't sit in the parliament. I'm not calling for the disestablishment of the Māori seats. That is, if you like, coincidental. What I'm calling for is that if you're part of a party that is setting up a separate parliament, you have broken your oath of allegiance and you should not be allowed to sit or vote in the New Zealand Parliament. If you want to go your own way, good luck with it. Knock yourself out. But I am offended as a taxpayer, offended that I am essentially funding insurrection. 
I am funding insurrection. I want to know if you feel the same way. And, and look, mainstream media won't raise this very, very serious issue. Uh, te Pāta Māori can't have its cake and eat it too. Um, but I don't want you spending the money I'm spending on setting up a separate parliament. It is treasonous. Uh, it is treasonous and it's stupid. And it's a stupid stunt. You're allowed to be stupid in parliament and be a stupid MP and have a stupid parliament. I've got no problems with that. It is a House of Representatives. But when you use my money to start a rebellion, then uh, no. And when you break your word, when you are not people to be trusted by breaking your oath of allegiance that you've taken to sit in our parliament, I'm not saying kick them out. I'm not saying disestablish the Maori seats. I'm just saying until such time as these MPs and Te Party Māori abandons its plans for insurrection and a new parliament, they should not be permitted to sit or vote or have their voice heard in the New Zealand parliament and all their funding should be withdrawn. And there it is. Can we mark that, Ben? Ben, we might put that little rant out um, in front of the table. And the text I'm getting would tend to agree. As I said, you won't find this on Morning Report or anyone else. No one else is going to be going hard on this. We're all meant to look the other way. Well, you cannot. There are some things you cannot look the other way and be tolerant on. And I'd say treason and the literal deconstruction of the society we live in is one of those things.